So Saddam begins his well-organized assault on the human race by inviting Eve to a fellowship wherein he is seeking to cause her doubt the word of God. Bible doctrine. The first attempt of Satan, he comes to a garden full of trees with many fruits for food, but his first attempt is not to cut all the trees in the garden so that man does not have food. Satan does not care if you have food, but go to hell. He doesn't care if you have billions of money in the bank, but go to hell. Or if you are a believer, then live a frustrated life on earth. A failure life on earth. You know, our preaching is always centered on Satan will take away your job. He'll make you poor. He'll do this. He's never interested in those things. He should have dried all the rivers in the garden when he came there. He didn't. You drink fresh water, eat all the fruits, but listen to me. What does Satan want? For man to doubt Bible doctrine. If you doubt God, Satan is satisfied. It doesn't matter what you have or what you, if you just doubt God, he's satisfied. And that's why he has successfully used the church to fight the church. Just by bringing doubt in what this one knows, and this one knows, and this one learns, and this one learns. You are like, ah, kwetu watu fanyangi ivo. I thought you were Christians. Just doubt God and you'll keep dancing to his tunes. You'll keep dancing to the tunes of Satan all through your life. In fact, instead of preaching the Bible, now you preach against the other church. The other church is preaching against the other one. The other one is preaching against the other one. And Satan is on a holiday in Mombasa. He's enjoying his glass of wine. Eh? But even when you pray, you pray that all demons will go to Mombasa. Yes. But the most important thing I want you to understand is this. Has God indeed said? That's what he wants. Just doubt what God has spoken and that's enough. Sufficient. <laughs>